Only Revolution Can Save Life on Earth by Eric Schechter Our big mistake was 12,000 years ago when we replaced sharing with hoarding. That has brought us poverty, plutocracy, lies, war, and other cruelties. Lately, nuclear war has been growing more likely. And now runaway warming has arrived. That's not just likely, it has already begun. It is accelerating because of feedback loops, tipping points, cascading collapses. It seems far away because the corporate press tells of flooded cities in the year 2100. But crop failures are already increasing. On our present course, I expect famine by 2030 and extinction by 2040. Big, fast changes might still save us, but those aren't permitted in our current system. We never actually had a democracy. That's just a mask worn by plutocrats in recent centuries. And even if our votes did count, we can't vote wisely when we don't see what is really going on. Here are a few things that many people don't see. Separate property makes us rivals not allies. The market makes the rich richer and leaves everyone else behind. Your boss is paid more than you because he's standing between you and the money. Less for you means more for him. You're free to quit your job, but then you'll have to look for another just like it. The market can't be efficient, for it disregards side effects such as pollution that are paid for by neither buyer nor seller. Capitalists must compete for investors who will move their money wherever profit is fastest. So the market concentrates on short-term private profits and disregards long-term consequences. Those consequences are killing the planet. A return to friendship and sharing might still save us. First, we must spread the word.